are you still making regular Discord bot commands? If you are, consider switching to slash commands. Slash commands are a really user-friendly way to interact with bots. So in this video, we're going to be turning this dark speak command into a slash command. So make sure you watch the entire video. First off, we're going to get the latest version of Nextguard by doing pip install nextguard dash dash upgrade in our command prompt. So our Discord bot needs special permissions to create slash commands. So to enable those permissions, we need to go to the Discord developer portal and click on OART2 and click on URL generator. Here we select bot applications or commands and then we scroll down and click on copy. And then we basically re-invite the bot to the server that we want the bot to have the slash commands in. Now we go back to our code and we do from next code input intents interaction and slash option. When you run your code, you might see this error. So to fix that, we need to enable the message content intent. So we basically just do intents equals intents dot default, and then we do intents dot message underscore content equals two. And then all we need to do is pass the intents argument into the commands.bot constructor. Now the code that you see here is the code for regular commands, but since we want to make slash commands, we're going to be rewriting all of this code and making the speak command use slash commands instead of regular commands. So we start off by doing at bot dot slash underscore command guild underscore IDs equals a list. And inside this list, we're going to put all of the IDs of all of the servers for which we want the slash command for a bot to be enabled in. So to get the ID of a server, we basically just right click on the server and then we click copy ID. If you don't see this copy ID option, then you need to go to user settings and then scroll down to advanced and enable developer mode. Now we just paste this guild ID inside this list. So we're going to start off by doing a really, really basic slash command. So async def speak interaction colon capital I interaction. And then inside this function, we're going to do await interaction dot response underscore send underscore message. We're just going to say hi. So let's test our code. So when we type slash in the server, we see a speak slash command. So when we select this and click enter, we see hi. So our program worked as intended. When we head over to the next card documentation for slash commands, we see that our slash commands can also take in options or arguments. So the arguments for slash commands can have multiple types, including string, int, float, and bool. So we're going to do message colon string to add a string argument to our slash command. And to make our slash command use the implementation of our old speak command, we're going to copy all of this code and then paste it right here. And then we can delete this line of code because message would already be a string of multiple words. And instead of doing ctx.channel.send, we do await interaction dot response dot send message. And here we just do file equals image since we had that here. When we run our code again and type speak, initially we don't see anything special. So we need to just like wait for a few seconds and then type speak again. And then we see a message. So inside this message box, we just type in a string of text. So hello world. Looking at the documentation, we see that for slash command options, we can also use choices. So we can actually give the user multiple choices to select from for a specific argument. So we're going to make our bot give the user a choice between multiple font sizes for this text that shows up. To do that, we're going to create another argument named font size and do colon int equals slash option and do 
name equals Pico, so we're basically giving that slash option a name, and then we're gonna do choices equals a dictionary. So in this dictionary, the key is essentially what's gonna be shown to the user, and the value is basically the value that's gonna be assigned to font size. Now, in the line where we define the font, instead of 50, we're gonna just replace this with font size. Now we can just run our code and do speak and for message we're going to say hello YouTube this time and for pickle. So here you can see that the user is given three options so if we select let's say 70 PT and then click enter we see that the text actually appears to be larger than before. Also if you have any questions or you just want to talk Feel free to join my Discord server, the link to it is in the description. Wait, I have something important to say. Why haven't you subscribed yet? I mean, you've come so far in the video and you haven't subscribed? Look, it's 100% free, you won't miss out on new videos, and you'll help other coders find my channel. Also, make sure you hit the bell icon when you subscribe because then you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. Okay, yeah, that's it. Bye.